a topic that uh, keeps coming up. It's about uh, mommies and daddies calling in new config, um, tr trying to help their uh, sons and daughters find jobs in IT or in sales or um, just helping them find jobs. Uh, so if your mommy or daddy needs to do the job search for you, there's something wrong with you. It's just the way it is. Or there's something wrong with your search or there's just something wrong. Because uh, most of these folks are new. They are um, they just entering the job market, uh, just graduating college. Uh, so there's two problems. Mommy and daddy need to let go and they'll let the child, not the child, and now man or woman, do the job search themselves. And second thing, the new graduate needs to take responsibility for the job search. At some point in life, parents need to let go and uh, the child needs to grow up. And it should happen a lot younger than after college, but if it happens now, at least it happens now. Um, that's my uh, piece of advice. You're not gonna succeed if your mommy or daddy is doing the job search for you. Like, it's not gonna be good. And any advice that I give your mommy or daddy that uh, call in um, is not gonna be uh, good advice. You should be calling in. If you have questions, you have problems finding a job, you should be calling new config, calling up agencies and asking for advice about finding a job. It shouldn't be like your uh, mom or dad doing this for you. It should be you that's doing it. Uh, top second piece of advice is if you are a novice, if you're new to the job market, if you just graduated college and you need help finding a job, uh, here's my advice. First of all, you should be posting your resume on every uh, database, a monster, career builder, dice, indeed, LinkedIn, a uh, zip recruiter. Uh, then you should be uh, reaching out to hire managers on LinkedIn. If you see a job posted on LinkedIn, a lot of them have uh, hiring managers profile picture right there. So you should be reaching out, reaching out to them. And even if it's not there, you should be going to the company website and emailing the HR at the company and attaching your resume or attaching your resume through a LinkedIn email to uh, message the hire manager directly to start a conversation. You should be using LinkedIn. You should be applying to roles. You should be applying to probably five to seven roles a day. You should be applying to at least 25 roles a week. That's that's my number one piece of advice. Looking for a job is a full-time job. It's not something you could do um, on the side or as a side hustle or just apply to three jobs a week and think you find a job. No, there's lots of people competing against you and they want the job uh, just as hard as you and maybe more and they're smart. They're actually doing what I'm telling you to do. Now, my second piece of advice is, uh, well, no one wants to give me experience and I don't have experience. How do I gain experience? That's true. They want to hire people for experience, but the biggest advantage that you have as a new person entering the market with no experience is you are uh, very open to salary. You'll take a lower salary. Use that to your advantage. You might not have the experience, but you'll take a lower salary. And that's going to help you get a job, get you a better job much more than someone with experience in some cases. Other times, it'll take someone with more experience. But uh, many times, they'll want to pay someone less. So you will benefit from the point that they will are willing to pay you less money, and you're willing to take less money to get that experience. So that's what I have to say on that topic, um, and I'm out.